Well, you hear me talking about it all the time. Bring on the happy. Bring on the happy. Please bring on the happy. That's like begging, oh, I want to be so happy. I'm so unhappy. Life isn't just about being happy. We know that. Life is more than that. Happiness is just a byproduct. I say just a byproduct of feeling contented with yourself. We can't feel, we can be distracted and have great times. No one's saying that. I mean, you could go fishing. That's part of your happy. It, it, happiness to me is, is not devoid of embracing all of life. To be really happy, we can't ignore things. We can't pretend that one thing isn't going on and another one is. I mean, if your roof is leaking, you have to fix it. You may not be real happy. You didn't want a leaking roof, and you said to yourself, you know, I don't even want to take care of this. But you do it. We do what we have to do. If we do that, and we do it kind of with an equilibrium, like what could be worse than the roof leaking would be the house floating down the hill. I mean, that almost happened to me one time, and the neighbor, would, after a major earthquake, the house on top of me was starting to slide. And all the neighbors were panicking because we were uh, hit very hard in the hills. And I looked at the situation. I said to myself, you know what? You are going to go on a trip. You're not going to sit here for six months while they do all this. I had someone that was a construction person and a geological expert. I didn't know what they were doing. So I took the time to go away. And I had a fabulous journey with my son, and we went to Europe. We visited some wonderful places. We visited family, and we made the best of a situation. I had a neighbor across the street from me who, on the other hand, literally had a nervous breakdown. Now, I'm not saying that I had to leave town, but I had to leave the worry in the hands of the people that could handle it. She couldn't do it. She couldn't get past it. And she ended up devastated. So th those are two opposite ends of a coin. But anything that we're doing in our life, we have a choice to take a look, really view it, view it, view it, view it from an eagle eye perspective, looking at the overview, not just where we're stuck in a teeny little hole with thinking this is it, do or die, either or, it's not whenever we believe it's an either or, we have to know we should pause at that moment. Pause because life is not an either or, except we're either alive or we're not. But as long as we're alive, the circumstances around us have many opportunities, they have challenges, yes, but how we face those, what decisions we make, what choices we make. So in bringing on the happy, I'd like you to think about right now the thing that makes you very happy. Now, if it's just eating fudge, let's try to find another one because I love fudge too. But there are other things that are healthier for me, so healthy habits. And one of the ways to determine this, as you go through your day, watch what makes you feel good and watch what makes you doesn't that you don't feel good, so that at the very end of the day, you can ask yourself, why did that being with that person make me feel so good? I felt understood. We were creative together. We just laughed. We had a good time. We understood each other. Then on the other hand. If you have a friend that every time you leave, you feel like you have a hole in your stomach, that you gave all your energy away, and they're vampires of your energy, you can make choices how little time you spend with those people. And if you love skiing and it's winter, hey, take a day and go skiing. If you love boating, if you love fishing, if you love planting flowers, if you love bird watching, or doing bird twills, twi twir twir twirls. <laughs> I was going to try to do one. I have to suck in. That's one way I have to whistle. So no matter what it is that makes you happy, I spent years trying to do that. 
learning to do a bird twill and a trill. <laughs> and I did. I can't do it right this second. I guess I could, but we don't want to sit here until I get my whistle wet. But all those things, you want to learn to play the harmonica, do it. You know, I've been trying to play guitar. Uh, we'll see. I'm still working on that. And maybe I'll play you a tune soon. In the meantime, bring on the happy. Watch what brings you pleasure. Watch what makes you fearful. Be aware during the day. Just check in with yourself. Check in. Why am I feeling what I'm feeling? Ah, that's it. I just was with so-and-so. I just did something I love. I just did this. So that's the happy thought of the day is bring on the happy. And I want to tell you, I'm here anytime for you all the time to have a giggle. Just tune on our laugh track. It's there. <laughs> it's there. And I want to say I can see you. I can feel you. And it's all love.